Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Sam Wiki, and this is Going Nuclear. Recently, I've been taking some challenge suggestions from you guys in the comments section, nuclear challenges, and this episode is actually a nuclear without aiming down sights. The gameplay is multi-team kill confirmed on Yemen, which is kind of a hard map to get a shotgun nuclear on. As you can see just to the right of the video, I am using a Remington class. This is also my first ever shotgun nuclear. I figured using the R870 would be my best bet to get a nuclear without aiming down sights because this gun is very powerful, especially when uh, the long barrel and the laser sight are attached. I actually started a new series on my channel called Black Ops 2 Top 5 and it's basically a farewell series for this game. We are taking a look at the game as a whole and I, I say we because it actually involves a lot of viewer participation which I think is really cool and people seem to be enjoying it. The viewers actually pick what the next episode is going to be and at the start of every episode there is a viewer selection from the previous Top 5. And the only reason why I'm bringing this up is because we covered the Top 5 guns throughout the lifespan of Black Ops 2 in the very first episode and the Remington was one of my my top five picks is actually number five on my list and a lot of people seem to agree with me that it should be in the top five and a lot of people even think this gun's overpowered. I feel like this gun and really this entire class setup embodies the old Call of Duty saying that it's great when you are doing it to others but when it's happening to you it is it's it's horrible it sucks. What I mean by that is this gun can be very frustrating to get killed by but it's super fun to use. And I think the same thing goes with the C4. Personally I get very frustrated getting killed by C4 at least there is a balance to it, but you know, there's so many things in the game that you have to balance that it's it's kind of frustrating still. Especially when the enemy is using the C4 with fast hands and basically just insta-killing me. But as you can see in this video, I am doing the exact same thing, and man, is it fun to use the C4 like that. I think that moving forward into Call of Duty Ghosts, I'm going to try to adapt my playstyle and take the game a little more matter-of-fact. Instead of getting mad at someone for playing a certain way or using something in the game that I find overpowered or something like that, I'm going to try to adapt and think, okay, how can I change my game to be successful against this tactic that the enemy is using or doing or whatever the case may be. There has been a lot of talk lately about the sniping in Call of Duty Ghosts and how it's going to act differently than in the previous Infinity Ward title, which is obviously Modern Warfare 3. And I'm just kind of excited to try to learn new ways to be successful with a sniper and adapt to the game as opposed to just hoping the game will change to what I think it should be. Like, I, I kind of did that in Black Ops 2. There's a lot of things that... I just complained about and that's not really fun for viewers or anything and I, it showed in my video especially in the first month couple months of the game I just wasn't having that much fun but uh, you know I'm actually enjoying Black Ops 2 more than ever before recently I've been playing a lot of free-for-all mixing it up and I've just been having a good time and I think I've said this before on my channel but it seems like the trend for Treyarch games is the game starts off not so great and it gets better over time although it wasn't as apparent in this game I don't think but you know right now we're several months after launch of the game and I think it's 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 playing great right now at least for me it is and it's kind of the opposite for Infinity Ward games like Modern Warfare 3 Modern Warfare 2 Call of Duty was it was pretty prime it was pretty epic throughout months and months and months it actually lasted two years for a lot of people because a lot of people went back to Call of Duty 4 after World at War came out like myself but anyways, Modern Warfare 2 came out, it was great for 6 months, I'd say it was even great for like 8 months, and then people started playing and figuring out and using tactics that were kind of not enjoyable, like the noob tubes and the Danger Close one man army. And people didn't really even know about that or use the one man army Danger Close noob tube thing until several months after the game came out. And I think the same thing kind of happened in Modern Warfare 3, at least for me and, and a lot of people that I've talked to in and feedback that people have given me about Modern Warfare 3 is the game was really fun for five months, maybe six months for some people, but it got really old really fast for a lot of people and things just like the death streaks and the little things that a lot of us find annoying in the game just became too annoying over and over and over. Now getting back to the gameplay, it was actually a fairly fast paced nuclear streak in my opinion for using a shotgun on a map like Yemen, it's, it's really wide open. It, it helped that it was multi-team because I didn't have to run far to find one of the teams. And before this video wraps up, I wanted to give a shout out to one of my friends, one of my longtime Xbox Live friends, who actually, I guess I met him back in Modern Warfare 3, but it seems a lot longer than that. His name is I'm Streakin', he was actually in this gameplay, and he recently started a YouTube channel called Mr. I'm Streakin', and there will be a link in the description as well as an annotation on the screen. Go check him out, let him know I sent you, it would really mean a lot to me to, uh, to go show him some support. He's pretty good at Call of Duty, he's posted some great gameplays, and he's going to start doing some commentaries soon as well. So I hope that everyone enjoyed this video, if you did, be sure to drop a nuke on that like button. Thanks for watching guys, roll out.